All right, fine. Last one for today. Okay. Dead Shack. There's a title. Uh, Dead Shack's a 2017 film, which... There wasn't a lot of trivia. I was able to just find them in the 30 seconds I was looking for it. But, uh, I got the impression that this film was kickstarted. Okay. I don't know if I actually see that in the film, because the production itself seemed okay. But, dead chat. So, a group, then, uh, a kid uh, is going with uh, his friend and his friend's family up to a cabin that they found on Craigslist to spend a week. Now, so, we have the irresponsible parent, uh, who's just there for a good time, trying to be the cool dad. We have his girlfriend, who just wants to drink. And hustle with fuck. And then uh, we have our main character, who's a 14-year-old wimp. His asinine friend. And their older sister. And his friend's older sister, who's kind of a tough one. Well, <clears throat> while uh, going at... And then... While wandering through the woods, they find a cabin nearby them that seems to be inhabited. And they're just kind of messing around, just poking into things, when the woman who owns the cabin comes back <clears throat> with two very drunk people that she seems to be luring inside, thinking that they're going to be able to spy on some shenanigans or maybe a threesome. They peek in the window, only to see her drug them and uh, feed them to her zombie children. Well, they just see them as cannibals at this point, and freak out, run back to their parents, who are now completely sloshed. Well, I will say, uh, the, while the kids make a very boneheaded move of just throwing a rock to break a window, to try to distract the woman inside to maybe save one of the people inside's life. Not thinking that through, it's got to be one of the stupidest decisions I've ever seen in a horror film. But the characters, at least on screen, acknowledge it's a stupid decision. Anyway, the dad doesn't is so drunk he doesn't really understand, so but he's trying to be supportive, so he'll go out there to check it out, taking a weapon with. But he before they find anything, well actually at her house, passes out. So now the kids gotta find a way to get their father out of here before the neighbor comes back, or her zombie family, which is now starting to show up. Well, gets him. So there's, this movie does have a lot going for it. The effects are good. The acting is good. Some of the and then some of the characters, I will say, make some really boneheaded moves. But it's in character for them. And I will say that uh, it's, over, it's completely over the top drunkenness. He's not like an uh, aggressive or abusive drunk. He's more like a he's just trying to have fun and uh, hang out with his kids. But he's lost all ability to be quiet and uh, understand the severity of the situation. He can be a bit frustrating at times, particularly early on, but once it... You never get the... But he still... He never gives you the impression that he's like a bad father or a bad guy. He's just... He's trying his best, but his best isn't that good. So... There's the, the effects are good and the uh, tension as the standoff between the neighbor and the uh, the kids are is good. So, but some stupid decisions and something and the movie's just not interested in really exploring much. She's you have no idea where the zombies came from or why. You get she mentions that she's been taking care of her zombie family for ten years. So how they got zombified never says. They do seem to be able to spread zombification. So she's just been chilling in the woods with her zombie family for 10 years, and uh, this has now come to a head when these people are fighting back. Okay. <clears throat> so, it's okay. I mean, there's nothing really that sets it above and beyond, but the flaws, mostly the characters' bonus decisions, don't really detract enough. But there's not enough here for me to really recommend it. So I'm just going to go five MacGuffins right up the middle. It's okay. It's, it's worth seeing maybe once, but 
it's nothing you really need to actively seek out. For me, it was it was fine to pop up, but it was just it was okay. Nothing really special. Nothing really right home about. But other than uh, me have, giving a visible reaction to the kid try and when they're trying to run away and hide, throwing a rock back at him deliberately to break a window to try to that. I, other than that. Yeah, it's okay. There's nothing here to really... I have a bad feeling I'm not going to even remember this film too well as it goes along. So, thankfully I'll have this review here to remind me. So one of the reasons I do these, just so I can remember what I've seen. I've seen too many movies. And this is definitely one of them. This is a movie I have seen. It's the best I can say on it. Five MacGuffins. Okay. Ah... Uh, Hopefully I can actually start spreading these reviews out a little bit rather than doing these big dumps on the weekend, but I'm a procrastinator. I know me. I don't know what's going on. We'll see.